What do we got here? Mysterious. Fallout New Vegas Unique. Damage 51. Dex 44. We don't have any 40. Oh, we got 10 right there. Let's go. We gotta move some of these bodies out of the way. Could you imagine just running through the town and then you see some dude moving feral ghoul bodies out of the way? Crazy. What's going on, this is Johnny, and welcome back to Fallout 4. We last left off, we got out of the vault, came to Sanctuary, talked to Cosworth, pretty much looted the majority of Sanctuary, and now we're here. Now we gotta go that way towards Red Rocket, which is right there, and that's where we're gonna meet Dog Meat. Now, before we get to that, a couple of things happened before uh, we started recording this episode. I put it, I add some more mods. That's what I kind of did. I knew in the last episode I kind of said I was going to, but I actually did. Uh, the majority of the mods that I added were gun mods. So these are mods um, that added guns from Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Um, maybe they're not lore friendly. I don't give a shit at this point. I really don't care. But they're guns from Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Some really cool ones. We got some gun packs even from Fallout New Vegas, adds like 20 guns, I think. Um, but they're in the in the sense of actual quests. So I figured we could kind of like go and do one of these. Let's go to the map. We actually have one like right here. So I think we should go this way and go towards it. Now, I also added a ENB mod that changes the graphics totally. And actually, right now, we're not lagging. I thought we would be like, my CPU would be like, yo, what the hell are you doing to me? But it's actually not bad. It's it's freaking smooth as butter out here. So, I'm gonna continue to watch it, just make sure uh, frames don't drop and things go crazy. But for right now, uh, we are not lagging by any means. So, I think we're gonna continue on. Oh, did you get out of me? Can't hit this guy. I'm playing on my controller. I want to play on my my uh my PC, but or my, my mouse and keyboard. But I don't think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna continue with the control. I just feel way more in control of the controller. I know that kind of like it's kind of pun intended, but that's where I'm at, man. God, these graphics are insane. Unless I'm an idiot and just think that this is like this might be the actual vanilla, but I don't think it is. I think these are. Uh, where am I going? I need to go this way, right? Yeah, we go, and you go right there. Retrieve the Mysterious Magnum. Oh, we got a nice short pipe rifle. Man, I'm so glad we're playing this game now, though. But well, we got a house here. Let's go ahead and loot this house. I'm not sure exactly my intentions for this game. Oh, man. I'm just gonna play. Um, I don't really have, like, a set goal. Like, I obviously want to play the, the main campaign and beat it, but... Look, this guy's dodging me. He's freaking dodging everything. Um, and like I said, not, I don't really know my intentions here. I just know that I'm just gonna play. Um, we're gonna try to beat the main campaign. Do as much as we can. I'm really just playing this game until Cyberpunk. I keep saying that in every episode, but it's the complete truth. Cyberpunk is going to take my all, like, all my time when it comes out, so... What's happening? Is it gonna storm? Why did I get all dark and mysterious? Oh, hell no, nah, dude. <sighs> Man. This isn't good. I'm just, I'm just glad we're not lagging and dropping frames like a mug. Like, I know I won't drop frames here, but I'm just making sure whenever I record, I don't drop frames. I think the thing is here, isn't it? No, we, gotta go, we need to go past this. I'm not- I'm not sure how I want to structure these videos and how I want to go about doing things. I think I might just do, like... I think what we're gonna do is we started here at Sanctuary. And then we're gonna come- we're just gonna kind of, like, hit blocks. Right? So we'll hit, like, all this and this block and just do everything within the side of the block. You know, loot everything, do what I gotta do there. Are you dead? You are. You're not dead, though. I- dude, I can't hit anything. My thumbs are just non non-existent right now. Okay. Nothing. I guess we start picking up random junk because we're gonna need it for base building later on. I think that's a good idea personally. Also, this FOV doesn't seem like it's 
Um, uh, 90, but it might be. I don't think it is, though. It's, it doesn't feel like it. I'm gonna pick up everything. We have, we should have plenty of room for it. Uh, what is my, yeah, 41 on 250. We got plenty of room. Take this broom. Uh, you guys are dead, right? Yeah. Who killed you guys? We got a chemistry station. Can't do anything with that just quite yet, though. Duct tape, that's kind of huge. Right. And let's just continue on getting this, um, this gun. We get, about to get a magnum. Back here. Wooden spoon. Can't pick this up. Why can't I pick this up? There we go. Gonna pick up all this. Why not? Pepper mill, teddy bear. Man, this world. This Fallout 4 world, man. It's like so well done. So detailed. You can tell it's kind of like they took their time with it, if that makes sense. Like, like there was intentions here, you know? Alright, we got- we're really close to this Magnum. I also want to head back and go to, uh... Red Rocket as well, so... What we're gonna do is go ahead and save. I haven't saved in a good minute. We gotta start saving a lot because, uh... Crashing. I don't want to crash and lose a bunch of progress, so... Definitely gonna be doing this. Alright. What we got here? Mysterious. Fallout New Vegas unique. Damage 51. X44. We don't have any 40. Oh, we got 10 right there. Let's go. Perfect. Why do you have pre war money? Did you literally eat pre war money? What's wrong with you? Okay, let's go ahead and head back up. Pick some of these freaking hatchlings out of the way. There we go. Use a ton of ammo right there, but that's all right. Also, I want to let you. I want to. I have a question. Also, I want to let you know, but I don't have anything to let you guys know. And you guys got messed up by these uh, hatchlings, huh? Damn. You guys got messed up. I'll be pinned. Uh, my question is, how do you guys play games? Do you take your time and you like loot everything and make sure you grab everything, or do you um kind of rush through it? Like, what's like what what do you what do you guys do exactly? Um, I think I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I want to go up here and get dog meat. So that's what we're gonna do really quick. Be right up here on top of this hill. Me personally, back to the question, um, I take my time, man. I think it's, I think it's very, very important that you take time with RPGs because it really like allow you to take it all in. If you rush through it, it's like, why? Take your time. Like I would, I could literally do 40 hours of side questing and not touch main campaign. And that's probably what I'm gonna do for Cyberpunk. So, I don't know, man. Just what I do. Take my complete freaking time with it. I don't. I don't rush anything. By the time I come to the the first boss, I'm so overpowered. <laughs> Crazy. On board. I think is this a mod? I'm pretty sure this is a mod. I don't think this is a. Uh... I can't even go in it, huh? Yeah, there's nothing even around it. Oh, yeah, there is. Got some water here. Take that. I want to hit up these houses here. I don't think I don't think we can go inside them, but I love mods like this. They just add stuff, man. Such a cool idea. Even if we can't even go in them, that's cool. Like I just like to see it. Like know that it, like it's actually there. You know, so cool. I don't think any of this shit's actually here. That that might be there, but I know a bunch of these cars and houses and stuff are not here. Originally, I know like this whole thing right there is not there either like Absolutely insane people take the time doing this and it's free even like 
crazy. Literally so crazy to me. Oh my god, those mannequins actually scared me, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish we could go in them, though. Like, I know, we, I, know I said earlier I don't care, but I kind of do want to go in them. He's such a cool little uh, feature. I think there is a mod that actually lets you go into places that aren't supposed to be a, able to go in. Man, look at this. Insane. Where's dog me that? Oh, right there. Hello, guy. Dog. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Uh, you lose your owner, buddy. You seem like a like an okay guy, sort of flea bag, aren't you? You want to come with me, pal? You lose your only owner, buddy. Words. You lose your owner, buddy. Okay then. Let's stick together. Let's go. All right, let's go ahead and loot this place. We gotta watch out for mole rats and think too. All right, a stim pack here. Alpine hammer. Actually, got a bunch of workstations here. Can I do anything with this? Oh, they even, like, let you do shit with it. That's so cool. Like I said, technically would just be a 44 Magnum, just reskinned as the Fallout New Vegas uh, thing. Dude, Fallout New Vegas was... I'm not gonna lie to you, when I first played Fallout New Vegas, I hated it. I'm not joking, I hated it. They came off of Fallout 3, and, I, and Fallout New Vegas, I think, came out a couple years later. And I, I was playing Fallout 3, like, every day for... Forever. Like, literally forever. And, uh, I played Fallout New Vegas, I literally put it in, I got to the town, the very first town, like, after you come out of Doc Mitchell's, and I hated it. I was like, what is this? This is not Fallout. Then, like, a month later, I don't even say a month, I would say, I would say, um, probably close to two weeks. Go so two weeks. I, I came back to it, and then I fell in love. I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. I'm an idiot for even thinking that this game is terrible. So, yeah. The more you know, I guess. But there, I, I could have sworn I saw another red mark out here, did it not? Oh, there we go. Still watching, making sure I don't, uh... drop any frames but god man this game looks incredible oh my gosh all right we're gonna go ahead and go towards man i think we should probably do some more missions to get more guns i think that'd be a good idea oh, we haven't saved in a good minute so let's go ahead and start doing that go ahead and do that bada bing all right let's do i don't want to walk too far find and kill preacher of flame where is that at yeah, that's a little bit down here. I just want to see where everything is. Like, I don't want to go too far off the beaten path. How many can I put on? Let's put all these on, shall we? I, I didn't even know you could do this. Is this always a thing? I don't think I've ever had more than one mission going. Holy shit. Alright. That's kind of out of our way. Uh... Retrieve the humble cudgel. Investigate Concord. Retrieve the humble. A real pipe job. Go do that. Try to take all these off. Hmm. All right, let's go that way. Man, I'm just still freaking, freaking out about these graphics right now. Like literally, I'm, I'm, I, I said this last episode. I'm literally always buying a game like this on uh, PC because holy shit, modding on PC is. Hi. Oh man. Concord. This is such a fucking cool mod, dude. Like, there's just extra stuff laying around. Like, just makes it feel like there's actually, like... People living here and stuff, you know? It's crazy. Anyway, 
I'm always gonna buy shit like this on X on PC because the modding is insane. Like I know there was modding on Xbox, but it was never like this. It's not like this. Like you can literally get two mods and it literally you're freaking full on the uh uh, I guess the limit they give you, so... Incredible that you can just... Mod to your heart desires. Your heart's desire, words. I'm gonna start picking up everything, man. Literally. The way I play Fallout 4, the way I did play it, and the way I'm gonna continue playing it... Just pick up everything. And just start dumping. Because you're gonna run through a bunch of stuff when you start base building anyway, so... The more stuff you have, the better. I'm... Curious as... Mm, okay. Ah, my ankle hurts. I'm curious how they're gonna do this whole... Um... Big boss battle type thing here in a second with the... Death Claw. I know it's coming. I think it's later, actually. What am I thinking? What am I talking about? God, dude, this mod is just... It's blowing my fucking mind. It really is. It's blowing my absolute mind. Oh, run into this. Run into this. I'm gonna need my sensitivity back up. I'm just missing everything. I'm terrible. Gotta move some of these bodies out of the way. Could you imagine just running through the town and then you see some dude moving feral ghoul bodies out of the way? Crazy. Alright. Are there more people? What's up with that noise? Alright, let's continue on. Go in here, maybe. First aid. I'm just excited to get these new weapons. I really, really am. I can't wait for Starfield too. Like I'm just so excited for it. Padded blue militia hat. Got some stuff here. Oh, I'm so I'm excited for Starfield because it's their new IP, and uh, I just want to see what they're gonna go. Or how they're gonna go with it. And then plus, it's like... We all, like, Fall and Elder Scrolls are just phenomenal games, but having a new IP at your disposal... Oh my god, you know? It's gonna be amazing. There's like nothing like a Bethesda game, man. I'm serious. I don't think I, lot of, I, don't think I get a lot of flack for Fallout 76, but... <sighs> I enjoyed Fallout 6 76, to be honest, but... Their single player games are amazing. Oh, that's, uh... Pre Preston, what are you doing out here? I don't know that he could even come out here like that. What is this? I can't pick it up. What's that? What does that say? Huh. I'm just looking at comic books while there's a gunfight going on. Cool. Looting just everything, you know? I mean, you're, uh, kind of in my way, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's like a whole new game to me right now. It really, really is. I'm just, I'm loving it. Okay. I think we can go inside now. Fusion cells. Uh, we'll take the, the musket. I'm not a big fan of the muskets. I don't know if anybody else is a big fan of muskets, but I'm just... I'm not a huge fan of them. Alright, you're, you're shooting me and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Literally not how I feel about it. Duct tape there. Sleeping bag. Part of cigarettes. What are you doing? Hey, Idiot. 
There's still, well, what, one more? Alright, let's go ahead and go, on top. I'll go inside. Let's go ahead and finish this up. We gotta take out some of these raiders here. Gotta freaking sneak these shots in, you know? Alright, let's. I think we gotta go this way, don't we? How we get through this? Pushing up here. Oh man, it is way too late for me to be playing this right now. I'm gonna get a freaking addicted to this game again, and I'm just not gonna want to stop. But I'm tired at the same time. Screwdriver, another screwdriver. Just taking it all. I want it all, baby. Want it all. Alright, let's go ahead and loot these guys. I wonder if I should take a bunch of these, uh, raider stuff. Because we really don't have anything too crazy for... Actually, our damage resistance on that's not bad. We could put this for extra stuff, I guess. Plus two. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep with that. Other stuff will give us some sort of damage resistance on like our, our torso, not torso, our, uh, our limbs. Dog is in trouble. Where are you at then? I don't even see anybody. What are you talking about? The thing is, you guys can hear perfectly. I can't hear anything. But it's coming through my, um, my speakers. And it's turned down so it doesn't bleed into the mic. So I gotta find my dog. But I don't really know where he's at. He's definitely here somewhere, I just don't know where. Okay. Enhanced impact. More ammo. Oh, you can actually see outside. That's crazy. All right, don't go that way. Sir, can you stop shooting me, please? Alright? Stop it, you too, okay? I've only been getting hurt. I wonder what kind of, uh... I wonder what kind of difficulty I'm playing on. I usually play on easy. I'm not a big, uh, hardcore gamer. I don't like playing the same shit over and over and over again, because I get bored really fast. I have the worst freaking, um, what would that be? We get bored really fast. I don't know, that, I don't know that's really what that's called, but that's what I got and I hate it. Don't have the key. Killers. Oh, there's another raider somewhere? Where's the other raider at? Where's he at? Got him. Cool, now we can go in here. What's going on, boss? Yo, give me that. I think there's a, uh... Yep, right here. Perfect, we'll take that. Miniman, so now I'm traveling backwards in time, I'm just passing through. I'm just passing through. Fair enough. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? God damn it. And those raiders want us all dead, including you. 
Who are these people? The world changed so much. None of this makes sense. The world changed so much. None of this makes I'm not. Sense. I think I'm gonna stop oh, saying right. stuff. I'm just gonna Listen, start picking what I'm gonna say because he says it for me. Maybe so. Maybe we can help you, huh? What brought you out here? Hmm. Looking for an infant boy. He's been kidnapped. Yours or tracking for someone else? Used to be a lot of families in this group. More than a few missing relatives. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? Tough break, um... Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are... Irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and maybe live for a long time, but they're still just nope. people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Uh. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Hmm. Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement, locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Careful, kid. Perfect. All right, so we gotta go get the uh, security gate open, which I got a feeling is gonna be a difficult task at hand. We also leveled up, so let's go ahead and level. We got three levels. Well, oh, geez. Okay. Um. Man. Oh, there's so many things we could do here. Um. See here, Lone Wanderer, no. Plus 10 resistance, that might not be too bad. I think we're gonna try to get our medicine up. We'll do that once. Is there a, where's the lockpick at? Let's do one in that as well. And lockpick is right here. We'll try doing that. That will be kind of diverse and a lot of stuff here. Alright, we gotta go down this way. Just a novice. We should be able to go... Or get in it pretty easily. Out of bank. We end that thing, baby. Take that fusion core. 
Now we can go straight back up to the top and put it in. We go this way. Uh, did we even freaking loot anything over here? We did, right? This is where we came, right? Then we go this way and take a left. <clears throat> Head back up. Look, perfect. Sturgis may be big, but he ain't much good in a fight. I mean, we need help, and we get a vault dweller. What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Play to death? I hear you. Don't worry about it. All right, on the roof. We have to go this way. <clears throat> Let's go. It is, um... How do I wait again? I don't know how to wait. Anyway, let's go ahead and enter it. I was gonna try to wait and try to get to the daytime, but that's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and enter it. Grab the minigun. I'll turn this light on. There we go. Now we can really see for you guys. Perfect. Gas canister. Listen, I'm gonna grab this extra stuff up here really quick. I'll get to you guys in just a moment, okay? Or you want to want right now? Okay. Yeah, we can. We can do that. I'm gonna, wait, how much ammo do I have for this thing? 1,300. I think we can make that work. Come on out here. Got him. Go ahead and jump down. and see if we can get this uh oh man there's a lot of shit over here oh my what to come back for that stuff I'm gonna try to grab this death claw it's gonna pop out here soon come on out there you go god he's just so creepy gotta freaking let this thing melt I want him out of here before he gets, gets close to me. Got him. Nice. Uh, we just gotta deal with a few more hostiles and we're good to go. Not dead yet? Where are you guys shooting from? Like over here somewhere. I wanna save it. We're gonna do a new save. Cor Corvega storage key? We'll take that for sure. Go ahead and loot a bunch of this stuff here. Sir, hold on. I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna reload, and then I'm gonna shoot you in your face. Thank you. Have a good day. Report back to Preston. Perfect. Gonna run through the entire core here by just running. Preston, where is ya? I'm here to uh, let you know I did what you wanted. Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm, I'm here. Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while anyway. We can at least move some- Listen. When we first met, you said you were just passing through. Well, maybe this will help you reconsider. Ain't much, but it's the best we can do. 
and you've earned it. Hell yeah. Um, you're welcome anytime. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. I'm in. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. Um, please tell me you know. Please, tell me. I need to know. You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked okay. about this. That junk. So now we gotta go gonna back to you. Sanctuary, and these guys are gonna meet up with us. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, check out this stuff out here really quick. Like I said, I was going to. We're gonna. Also, see what this guy's got as well. Molotov cocktails, nice. And I saw this stuff over here. I'm really not sure what's all over here, but I'm gonna take it. Got some nice food and stuff on it. Um, just taking it to really just to sell. To be honest with you. Pack of cigarettes. Jet. Okay. Oh, is that a kid? Oh, That's horrible. Alright, let's go ahead and fast travel to... Sanctuary. We might have to wait or sleep. Which I think we're gonna do it anyway because it's dark. I'm not a big fan of the dark time in any game, really. I like to be able to see things when I'm traveling about. So we'll go back here, wait for these guys to come, and or wait, um... They don't even get here, they might not even be here yet. I see here, I don't, I don't think so. Sir, welcome... Hey, Codsworth. Sir, welcome back, sir. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord. Made a new, made a few new friends. I can say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Uh. Oh, wait. No, not now. All right then. I kind of sound like I was being a dickhead. It's a thing, man. I like this game a lot. I, I really do. I love it. But, they give you so much good stuff right in the beginning, man. They really, really do. Like, it's insane to me. You're special. Oh, that's right. We can get over here and grab stuff. Um, break. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what I want to put it into. Let's do charisma. Let's get our charisma up. Okay. The thing we're going to do really quick is to hold this button and start scrapping some stuff so we can hey that take this takes oh that's right I got a mod okay I was gonna say yo I'm taking this entire house out holy crap I just took this entire house maybe I shouldn't have done that like at all 
but it's also gonna give us stuff to use, so... We'll just finish it up. It might be a little house right here anyway, considering this was our old house. Wouldn't be a bad plan. Uh, we're gonna leave that. Try to grab all of this stuff here. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and put down a bed. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put down a couple of just regular beds, I don't think. Well, I mean, we did get a lot of good stuff, so... Mm. I'm just gonna put, like, one right here. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy at the moment. I'm just gonna... Make it... Okay, if that makes sense. I, I, want, I want it to be inside, though. How many... I got five people? Put one in the freaking... Thing. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna go to the workshop. We're actually gonna transfer all of our junk. That should help us with weight as well. It's kind of... we can't... I can't, that's right. Oh, they're actually here. Sweet. And it's actually getting daytime. Nice. Go and get out of this. Cool. I think we're good here, right? What's our mission now? Um. Go to Diamond City. There we go. Then we can talk to him really quick and get this mission done. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Before the war. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war <laughs> fools. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn. I'm sorry. But no. I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are many men out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Nice. All right, guys. This is what we're going to be calling the uh, 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 episode number two of the Fall 4 campaign. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys hit the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. As always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. I think in the next episode, we'll be tackling a bunch of these uh, weapon mods, because we have a lot of them, and I would like to get them done. Let's go ahead and look at the map. Anything even close? Got one up here. Oh, that's a 10. That's that shit. Never mind. We actually go back here, I guess, and get this, if you wanted, next episode, so I think we might go ahead and do that. And we might travel... Actually, a lot of stuff down here south. We'll travel, like, south, southern, I guess you could say. Yep, these two, maybe. And then, uh, yeah, go from there. So, see you guys soon. Bye.